What's who's who's left behind about you want to say? Basically, it it's about um, a family in in Japan. Um, I think it's just at the beginning of the the First World War, actually. Second. The second, pardon me, the Second World War. Um, and we're looking at it through the eyes of one of the... Younger family members? A female um, character named Kyoko, is it? Kyoko, yeah, little Kyoko, girl. Kyoko, yeah. Um, and she actually, you're looking at it through the eyes of the, the younger sister and she, um, narrates through the whole, through the whole anime anyway, in regards to the war and her family. And it's quite, um, a traditional family as well, Mm -hmm. because you've got mom, dad, grandmother, and I think she's got four brothers. Yeah. Yeah. If I remember correctly. And they're all living in the house. So basically, it's just like you're just getting to see their everyday life. And I have to say the beginning is quite slow. Mm-hmm. And it and it does to me, it needs it would be nice if it was redone in a sense, because the, the animation is not good, mm-hmm. especially at the beginning. Um, and basically what happens is that um, as the war progresses, things get worse. She gets sent away to um, one of the surrounding towns and, you know, and a war, a, a war area. Yeah. A war, yeah. And um, the family, the family are left in the, in one of them in the city. While the bombings are happening. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, yeah, that's basically what what it's about. The funny thing about when you look at all three of these, Barefoot Gen, Who's Left Behind, and Grave of the Fireflies, these three are all different aspects of the war. Because as we've gone on and on about, Barefoot Gen's about the atomic blast. Grave of the Fireflies is its own little enclosure story about a brother and sister survival. Who's Left Behind is about a little girl who lives in a big family. And the thing about um, the difference with Who's Left Behind is very uneventful. Most 90% of the anime you're watching, it's like you said, it's the beginning of the uh, World War II, right? And nothing's really happening. They, obviously, you hear all the announcements of uh, Japan taking over China and all this other stuff, but... It's just peaceful, and you watch her live a trivial yeah, life. And, and you get to see the, the fact that how the people are and how that they, the family were quite well off, in a sense. So you also get to see how they, they started from quite well off and everything going well, be, beautiful house, blah, blah, blah. I, I want to say well off. They, I well, say yeah, well, they, they, they were. They were kind of... Do you not think I they, think they were, were okay? I don't. I don't think they were like poor or anything. I just think that they were all right. I think all right. they didn't seem well, to be more squabbling. Than a, did you think they were like a working family, like working class family? To be honest with you, the only thing I can say for sure, they weren't struggling. That that's what it looked like to me because mm. they had five children, and they weren't all hustling and bustling. They could afford to send Kayoko to take um was it flute lessons or yeah whatever? yeah um it yeah. wasn't flute lessons. Now, the, my point about this anime that I'm trying to make is that this anime is just... I think the main focus of the anime is to really get you settled into the the life before the war. This little girl living her everyday life is very cute. It makes you feel... I don't know. It was very... um made me feel very nostalgic about growing up, even though this was based on a little girl and I'm a boy or a guy or whatever. But when you watch the anime... It's just really sweet and really tender, you know? You watch the family, and because it's 90% of the anime, you don't see any action. There's no violence, no bombings, really, for so long. You just get so comfortable in her normal life that when things do go wrong, when she has to get sent off, and then when the air raids start happening, it really, like, you really get the effect of your world being shattered, you know? Yeah, also, you also get to see the people as well and the fact that they were very positive about the war, yeah. And they oh, really Japanese. believed, yeah, they yeah, did yeah. not believe that, you know, anything yeah. was going to go wrong. And, you know, there was one bit where they were asking for plastic, weren't they? Yeah. And people were donating dolls and other items that obviously yeah. are precious to them. Because to- they said they could make bombs out of them. Yeah, because, yeah. So the people themselves, you got to see how just normal folk felt about, the war and how positive they were about it as well well anyone who knows a world war ii history like i do right now at the moment anyway as mm-hmm. i can remember is basically you know japan was doing really well they took over a big part of southern china and um they were very arrogant 
And unfortunately, it, it was the attack on Pearl Harbor that was the beginning of the end for them. Yeah, but, and they were in league work with Germany at that point. They were, they were, because, you know, funny, really, I don't want to say funny, I don't mean it's funny in, a, in an amusing way at all, it's not, just funny in an ironic way, that funny fact is that the Japanese were slaughtering the Chinese so much that the Nazis had to broker a peace treaty with them to stop butchering the Chinese. Nazis. Had to brought, had to stop the Japanese, so it is. When you look into World War, it's fucking crazy. Anyway, basic, you know, this anime to me, just like you said, you aren't say it needs to be redone. This actually is more of a Ghibli movie. I believe so too. I really, really do. I think that it would make a very, very good Ghibli movie. Especially there is this scene at the the beginning where um, because who who's left behind is actually based on a, a game, a little ch- a child's game that they they'd play yeah you mean the title who's the title not the actual, yes I do yeah. I do mean that thank you very much thank you very much I just want to clarify because this Clar- is no game clarify away so well you know to clarify 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 king I am the name the title of the anime who's left behind is based on one of those children's games you know like Ring of Ring of Roses yeah. or one of them hand clapping games and basically it's like a um, musical chairs kind of game where they kind of they, you get in a circle they, you get in the middle and you have to guess the person who's behind you. So they sing a song, who's left behind, who's left behind, and then you have to guess who's behind you. So, uh, anyway, I might be totally wrong, but for no, what... No, it, is, it, it is like that. You close your eyes, and they're singing the song, and then when they all stop, they're all going around in a circle. When they stop, you have to guess who's who's behind you. Yeah. Exactly. So that that's how it is. And even that scene in itself mm. is so sweet. You know, it is sweet. It's... it's it's very nostalgic, like you said. It's very childlike. And I think that if it was redone, it would have a bigger... It would pack a bigger punch. 